Hello, new style filmmakers. In today's episode, I want to talk to you about one of my favorite new plugins for Final Cut Pro. Stay tuned. We are going to be talking about Dehancer, which is a film emulation plugin that is now available for Final Cut Pro. Uh, it is also available for DaVinci Resolve and Adobe Premiere. They even have a mobile version uh, that you can install, uh, you can download on your phone. Uh, and you can see it right here. Now, full disclosure, Dehancer reached out to me and asked me to review their product. Uh, now, I am not getting paid. They simply provided me a copy, wanted me to give, uh, you know, my honest opinion, which is what I'm doing now. Uh, if you're interested in learning more, I'll leave a, a link in the description to their website. You can actually use my discount code, uh, Rod Lopez Films. Uh, to get a 10% discount. All right, so as I mentioned, Dehancer is a film emulation plugin that you can apply uh, to your footage to get that filmic look, uh, the cinematic feel, if you will. Uh, I like to use it as a finishing touch on my videos. You know, once I've done my color correction, uh, this is sort of the last step in my color grading process. Uh, I have a couple of clips here that I'll show you uh, from some of my recent projects, you know, how I like to use it. One of the things that I like is that it works inside of Final Cut Pro, uh, you know, so you don't have to leave uh, Final Cut Pro. You simply apply it like you would any other uh, plugin, like any other effect in, inside of Final Cut Pro. I'll show you, I got this, uh, this shot right here. Uh, you can see it's, uh, you know, I'd already, went ahead and, and color graded it and color corrected it rather. So I'm going to go ahead under my effects, look for uh, film emulation uh, right here. You can see right here I have Dehancer Pro. And I'm going to go ahead and double click that to apply it uh, to my footage. Uh, now when you first apply it, uh, you know, it. it it doesn't look pretty at first, but obviously you have to adjust all of the parameters uh, to get the look that you that you want. Uh, and one of the things that I like is that you can either apply it to a single shot, as you see that I did here, or you can apply it to an adjustment layer. Let me undo that. Uh, so you see right here, I got these three shots. And then I have an adjustment layer on top, which, you know, you can download uh, an adjustment layer uh, pretty much anywhere. And I can apply the uh, the Dehancer Pro to the adjustment layer, which then, you know, will apply to all three shots, which, you know, again, saves you time. If you have a whole scene and you're giving the entire scene the same look, well, this would be the way to do it. This would save you a lot of time. Uh, so I'm going to select this shot. This was shot on red. Uh, I'm going to double click on it. You know, and again, it applies the uh, the effect. You know, and then I can come over here. I'll show you. Right here under source, uh, I can actually select. Uh, right here, I can go to choose camera. And basically, you can select from... You know, whatever camera, you know, like I said, in this case, I shot this on red. So I'll click on that. I'll select the camera. Uh, select the format. You know, then I can adjust the exposure. Uh, I can adjust the temperature. You got a chain controller. Uh, you can, uh, you know, I haven't really played a lot with uh, the fringe, but you can enable or disable that. Uh, one of the coolest things is you have all this uh, film, you know, under the film tab, you got all these different uh, uh, film emulations, uh, you know, all of the, the main film uh, emulations to get, you know, whatever look you want. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do the, the Korat uh, Portra 800. Uh, and as you can see, it's already looking pretty good, pretty, uh, it's giving me, it's already giving me that film look, uh, you know, if I turn that off, 
Let me show you. You know, if I turn it off, turn it back on, you can see that I'm already getting a pretty nice uh, little grade. And, and again, on this clip, I would applied it to the clip as, you know, this was a log file. Uh, so I didn't do any color correction on this particular clip. So you can, if you want, uh, sort of do everything with this plugin. Uh, you know, so again, I'm going to come back down here. Uh, under film compression, you can basically select how much of the impact do you want, uh, you know, on the shot. Uh, you know, if you enable that. Expand, uh, you can change the black and white points in relation uh, to the color space. You know, again, if you enable that, you can play with the slider. As you can see, if you want to get a little more contrasty, uh, you can do that. Because uh, it basically, it, you can affect the, the white point and the black point. Uh, so, you know, in essence, if you want to get a more contrasty image, as you can see right here, I'm actually going to even go a little more than that. Uh, print, uh, it, it properly interprets, you know, the negative feel, so to speak. Uh, you know, if you enable that, which I do, uh, color head, uh, basically combines, uh, you know, your, your three colors, you know, your yellow, magenta, cyan, blue, green, red, uh, you know, so that you can individually access them and you can individually, uh, you know, play with each of them to get to have even more control over the final look. Uh, and then we start to get in, into the good stuff. You know, number one, film grain, which is really the, you know, one of the, the best uh, features of this software. Uh, and film grain uh, really looks, uh, you know, natural. It looks organic. Um, you know, you can change the size, you know, if you want... If you want it to look really grainy, as you can see right here, it has, you know, let me let me expand this so you can get an idea. You can see that it has lots of grain right there. Uh, you know, I personally like to keep this small, you know, one, I find that one, two or three percent, you know, the size of the grain, if I keep it small, uh, you know, it looks better. And also the amount. I like to play with the amount. You know, a lot of a lot of grain, as you can see. You know, again, I'll show you. You can see it's super grainy. Uh, I personally find that, you know, again, less is more. Keep it, you know, between 5 to 10. I think that's the sweet spot for me anyway. Uh, film resolution. Uh, you know, if you take this up all the way, uh, you know, it takes a lot to, to render, but it can really makes it look even more like film. You know, if you, uh, if you take it up to 100%. Again, you know, I think it defaults to 50, and I think that's pretty good. And then you can also uh, change, you know, the shadows, midtones, highlight individually. Uh, so, you know, you can really get real precise and get, uh, you know, the, the grain that you want. Uh, you know, again, coming down here to halation, it adds highlights around contrasted areas. Uh, you know, and it basically, it's like a red-orange highlight that it adds to the brightest part of your frame, you know, of your image. Uh, you know, and if you enable that, uh, and actually I like this mask mode. When you apply the mask, you can see right here, let me zoom into this. You can see this little, uh, you know, it basically shows you where it will be applied. You know, and if I go into impact and I take that to 100%, you can really see, you know, where the highlation is going to be applied. Uh, you know, and then I uncheck mass mode. It, it's, it's one of those things where you have to you know, dial it, you have to dial it to your taste of, you know, what you want. Uh, and then, you know, we come down here to Bloom. And, uh, you know, Bloom 
it, it blooms out the highlighter the highlighted area. Uh, it softens the highlights. Uh, it's actually great for skin tones. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and enable that, and you can see that it's soft and it gives it that dreamy, you know, kind of that dreamy look. It's, it gives it that soft, uh, you know, feel. Uh, and it also has a mask mode. And as you can see, I think you can tell right here, um, you know, where it is affecting your image, you know, which again, it affects, you know, the brightest parts uh, of your image. Um, you know, and again, you can play with the settings, you know, if you want even more, you know, let me uncheck the boom, and you can see, you know, right there is very, very dreamy, uh, you know, and it softens the highlights, uh, you know, really like that. Uh, you know, then we come down here, you got your vignette, you know, which is pretty standard for, you know, the film look. I do love right here, you see, we got false color. Uh, which, you know, you can enable that, uh, you know, to sort of check, make sure that your your highlights are not clipping, you know, that you're properly exposed. Uh, so, you know, just the fact that it has, uh, you know, having a false color inside of the, um, you know, inside of the plugin, that's, a, that's actually an excellent idea. Um, then we come down here. And this right here is probably my favorite part of the of the software, and that is the uh, the ability to export your own LUT. Uh, you know, so once you've created your look, you're happy with it. Uh, you can actually create uh, your own LUT, which is huge, because uh, that means not only can you use this LUT on other projects, uh, but for people like myself you know, who I've created uh, several LUT packages that I sell, uh, this is huge because I can basically, you know, I can create, uh, you know, a LUT package that I can, you know, either sell or give away for free. Uh, but there, are, there aren't that many softwares that allow you to create, uh, you know, your own LUTs. So uh, I think this right here is huge. Uh, you know, let me go ahead and, yeah, so I'm going to actually show you, I'm going to go ahead and export this slut. Uh, and I'm going to call this, let me go to my Dehancer LUTs and I'm going to call this, uh, Dreamy Summer. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. You know, and then I'm going to come to this other clip, which, as you can see right here, I'm going to go uh, right here under color. And I'm looking for the custom lot. And then I can come right here and just find that lot that I just created. Right here, you can see Dreamy Summer. And I'm going to apply that. And boom, right there. Look at that. Already created a perfect LUT, a look for that footage, uh, which, again, this is huge, uh, you know, for people that want to create, you know, or that do create their own LUTs. Uh, this is just a bonus. Uh, this is just the, the, you know, extra gravy. All right, everybody, that is all for today. If you haven't done so, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you on the next one.